So little boys are really being programmed to evil. And where does Skeletor live? Well, Skeletor lives in Eternia with He-Man. Now, Eternia is a good world that they live in, and we'll, we'll see some things about Eternia a little later on. Now, who lives in Snake Mountain? Well, Skeletor lives in Snake Mountain. Could we talk about Snake Mountain? For sure, let's take a look at it. Now, we, we have a toy that we got at the store, which is uh, called simply Snake Mountain. I thought I'd get this toy up here if we can get that on the screen. And uh, here's the snake and all. I mean, this is definitely an occultic toy. And it's got an interesting little feature here. I'm going to turn it on. It can actually transform your voice from uh, your regular voice to that of an occultic hero. Is that yeah. correct? So let's get a Skeletor type of voice. Let me turn this on here. I, I think I'm getting it too loud. Skeletor, the master of the universe. Does that give you kind of an example of... Uh, yeah, you should see the commercial they play with it. You know, it transforms your voice into that of an evil... So you know, little voice. children would... Little children would actually use that to even identify more with these occultic heroes, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, I think uh, it would be interesting if we went to another video showing even more of the occultic overtones in these uh, different characters. So let's go to another He-Man serial right now showing the occult. You have a great challenge facing you, He-Man. Perhaps the greatest of your life. Have you ever heard of the Star Seed? People like you that want to contest on some website. On the main stage, a special short made by the creators of Red vs. Blue was screened for the crowd. You won't regret this. Hey, Graf! Where are you? Following the clip, Epic's own Mark Rain and Clip EB took the main stage with Gears of War, featuring demos from TGS and X05. Although we had seen the demos before, this time the X05 demo had a bit more at the end, including a ride on a rail car. Anya, we're headed into the furnace. Divert the carts. Repeat, we're moving into the fire. Reroute, anywhere, now! After the presentation, Mark Rain and Cliffy B took an extended Q&A session with the crowd that turned into a general gameplay session hey, after more than an hour. Hey, Mark. Marcus Venus versus Master Chief. Who wins? I'd say Marcus because uh, he was in prison and he's a dirty fighter. Uh. A Quake 4 demo with Id's Todd Holland's head was also included in tournament follow. At the same time, we got a chance to catch up with Microsoft's Peter Moore. It's almost an honor and privilege to be here at the same time as three and a half thousand gamers are getting their hands on the Xbox 360, two days in advance of anybody else in America and uh, just walking around outside, um, the, the look on people's faces, everybody's getting comfy. I think uh, I hear right now uh, Todd Holland said of it, is going live on stage to show everybody Quake 4. Um, you know what's interesting for me is we're used to this, we go to E3, we go to GDC, we go to TGS, gamers never get this opportunity to hear a... Todd Holland said, or a Clippy B talk about their game. Hey, so I'm back. I'm yeah. What's up, bros? I don't know how loud this game's gonna be, so it might take a bit of adjustment, but we're gonna play right out. We're gonna go fast. You guys ready to go fast? Better be fucking ready to go fast. Make Quake 4. What? He already did that. Quake 4 was good. Made by Raven like 10 years ago. Oh, yeah, 2005. Oh, you guys are talking about the BRB video. Right. Uh, Alright, guys. Okay, it's starting to peak a little bit. Sorry, just watching that. Yeah, it always seems like uh, whenever I come back from the bathroom. Oh. Or Yvonne, I didn't do any push-ups. I lied. Okay, good. This is exactly like Wipeout. Different manufacturers. Look at that fucking thing. Why is it pulsing? Karine. Fury was sweet. I want to say that. Say to Tillith that RVB is a must-watch. Uh, it certainly is to, be, to begin with. I haven't seen it all, so I can't speak to everything. Uh, shit, man. Look, look at all these stats. This seems like the most balanced. What's it called? Red out because of the redshift Doppler effect. Mission was I don't know what I would... So there is a term called red out. It's the opposite of a blackout. And it's in airplanes. So um, in an airplane, right stick rotates ships. Aha, thank you. 
In an airplane, when you pull a, uh, a normal turn, um, the centripetal force pushes all of the blood to your feet, meaning there's no blood in your head, so you fall unconscious because there's no ex oxygen for your, your head. It's called a blackout. A red out is the opposite. It's when you're turning down and the centripetal force pushes blood the other way. And there's too much blood in your head and you pass out. It's called a red out because of the blood. And I think it actually makes your vision go red too. I could be wrong about that. Um, so that is my understanding of what an actual red out is. Uh, the Vanguard I'm go for this. is an amazing all-rounder featuring good handling and a top-notch sprint. There we go. Did Vanessa do an RVB episode? Yeah, JC, we did too. We kind of, we wrote ourselves into the, uh, Select an event from the next event. The first season. Welcome to try. Okay, so, oh wow, this is kind of laid out like, uh, like Wipeout. Different events on the same track. I'm done with that. Right stick. Strafing towards the turn. Control. Interesting. So it's not like Three, a swipe. Two, one, go. Then, okay. Huh, interesting. Uh, okay, it's floaty. Holy shit, this is... The motion blur is really interesting on this game. There's a lot of it. I know I, know I can turn that down, I'm not complaining, it's just... It gives it a particular look. So strafing kills your speed, is that what I'm... Is that what it feels like? Cool. I'm, I'm fucking in, man. I'm on board with this. Formula Fusion was the, the game that I was kind of looking forward to, but... This is it. Well, not, not all of it. I mean, I just started with... This is the kind of thing I'm looking for. What the fuck? Did, did it have to do that? <laughs> I mean, I'm glad it did, don't get me wrong, but... Are there any other buttons? There, there is a boost. Alright. Holy shit. Who made this? Alright. Energy recharges automatically. Okay. Hold on, let me... I need to check the, uh... Accelerate, power up, camera, look back, turbo, strafe, pitch, steer, t turbo... Okay, so it's left one. Okay. This game looks rad. I'm... I'm pretty happy right now. For the loop, hold back on the right analog stick to your ship up. Ah, okay, Resonator. It's got that, like, uh, extreme G aspect to it. That's good to know. I actually like games that do that. How, how pronounced is that? Do you have to do that for, like, pretty much every tight... tight turn? Like, does it help to do it here? I would have. I really would have probably never figured that out. Let's see, red out. That was it. See how the screen went red? Like in flight simulators, that's usually what they do in situations like that. All right. Oh, and the blackout when you do the other turn. Okay, that's a cool effect. Man. To my knowledge, there hasn't been a racing game that simulates those effects. Flight sims do it, like I was saying, but... Uh, okay. Is there a way to corner harder than that, or is that just lying and then sometimes you have to break? Like, is, is the only cornering tool you have your racing line and then the, the strafe? Because some, some have like a double, like a dash or something like that, where you can pop over. I'm digging the soundtrack though. Fuck, keep nicking the walls. And then when you boost, does it use all of your energy or just some of it? I don't know. Oh. I know people are writing in chat, I can't look though. Yeah, it looks like it uses it all. That's interesting. That means there's, there's going to be a certain kind of rhythm to win and how much you can boost. 
You don't have to do it in every turn, but you should take into account that if you pitch your hovercraft properly, it's going to grind nose against the floor. Also, turning can be done. Can, turning can be done also by pitching. How do you turn by pitching? Interesting. I can post my shit again when I finish the race. I did. You can post your shit now. It'll let you pull back and run it. Yeah. Huh. Pitching and such, you should never have to break. Go fast. So. So you. You pitch back and shift to the right and turn? Is that the idea? So when. Hmm. Does pitching also make you pull up? Recommending waiting until the boost is totally full, you will go faster. Okay. It's cucked or be cucked the movie. Good. Good. Another tab open. Um, it's right alongside Riku and his king. I'll read that. Wait. My time 103. Okay. Hmm. I want to get. I want to get the. I want to get the fucking basics down. Three, two, one, go. All right. So pitch. Uh, I don't. Hmm. Pitch. How do you? How do you turn by pitching? Okay. I think. I think. I think when you pitch up. When you pitch up, your cornering get, just gets tighter. But I. I would assume it decelerates you. Except. Oh, speed's on the left there. It does. Okay. Only because I hit a wall. Really. No, no, I don't know. Fuck. I have to figure out collision with the walls. Stupid. That was bad. What happens is pitching up will slow you down a bit. It changes your aerodynamics. Pitching down does the opposite. Okay. Why am I? Why am I not? Why am I not moving? There we go. Yeah. When I, when I was pitching up, it seemed like it just made it so I could turn tighter. Huh. I'll take some experimentation. Maybe it depends on the depends on the car you're using. You need to be able to make it through those corners without tapping the wall like that, killing a lot of speed. Fascinating. I like how they, they basically made the 3D aspects of the track a mechanic because you have to pitch into into and out of turns. Fuck! Also, yeah, I can, like, imagine if I were able to mo maintain the momentum I had across the finish line into both of those turns. Fuck. Yeah, you really gotta know. You really gotta know your cornering. Be prepared for the, the tricky ones. Right side here, and, and don't have to break or anything. Good, good. Not a line. Boost again. Parts where the track narrows are killer, though. Shit. Alright. Is it right? 101.9? Congratulations. Gold medal. I am a super future race man. Booyah. Pilot level increase. I did it. New events available. Um, power ups, interesting. Oh, pure race two laps, okay. 
I'm wondering what collisions with other racers will look like. And I'm also kind of hoping it's it's visible to you guys. This is it's a very fast and blurry game, and YouTube compre or sorry Twitch compression I'm sure does not help with that. Prepare for the most aggressive AI ever. That's right. Yeah, you were warning me about that. What am I drinking? Just water for now, Three, Vibrio. Two, Saving the drinks one, until uh go. until I start playing Kingdom Hearts. Does this have a uh, combative racing too, like weapons and shit? I thought it had power ups. Fuck. Ah. The sand made it kind of hard to see the wall there. Hey, there's a Lawrence! What the fuck? You're taking my name too. You didn't say they'd be aggressive like that. Fuck you. Kidding. I think he just made it there really fast. Kojerg. Fuck. This is the kind of, kind of thing where you need to shit. Save your boost until right at the end, just like sandbag it. I guess it doesn't really mean anything since it re recharges. The soundtrack is fucking great. Is it? Can you buy it? <sighs> Guys, this game is fucking great. Damn. It always slips away from me. The tail end slips out. This is why you have to bank into turns. Kind of set your. Yeah, it seems like you can kind of pitch your ship and get it aligned with the path you want to go, so it's almost like a, a slide. And then drop the drop the booster on it, so you actually... It's weird. It's a bit like a drift. Alright. Okay, that's what happens when you collide. I didn't want to miss that boost pad, though. Oh, that was it. Shit, third. Not in pure race. And regular races, you have weapons, and you can also add perks. Uh, yeah, I gotcha. Game has mantled me. <laughs> okay, equipable. You can't waste your time when you see corner. Yeah, I mean, I, I think ideally you kind of have to know. Oh, there will be a soundtrack at release. Yeah, because it, it's still early access, right? Man, they. I don't know if I want to beat my head against this because if the AI is really that bad. Three, two, one. I can shave a. Go. I can shave a, a second or two off of that time pretty easily. Like I, I was feeling really good because I finally nailed that turn. I've been always, I've been always like tapping the wall on that one. And some dude had to hit me out like that. I guess I was warned about the fucking AI. Oh, he scraped like an asshole. Don't touch! Oh god, damn it! Fuck! <laughs> Every time I make it through a turn clean. Shit, Resonator, you were not hitting about the AI in this game! Fuck! God damn! Is there a way to re regenerate health? Does it come back? Alright! Bottleneck sucks because you end up running into somebody. God, that's frustrating, man. That means you have to like plan your overtakes too. 
But they're always... Oh, boy. This makes this track pretty raunchy. There's all the... There's always, like, a bottleneck after a tight turn, and if I'm gonna beat them on the corner, that means I'm gonna run into them in the bottleneck. I don't know what to do about that. Aside from get good. Yeah, I fucked it. Third again. Finish. You can stay off the, the wall and not get hit. Your health will regenerate. Okay. Now they plan on fixing the AI a bit soon, else you can upgrade your ship and change its color in the ship's part. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, do they acknowledge the AI is unfair? That didn't seem too bad. It's just. It's the mostly Three, the, uh... Two, one, go. It's the collisions that are killing me. Um, somebody, somebody asked what I was playing. This game is not listed on Twitch yet. So, I just had to list it as gaming and demos or whatever. Ugh. See, like, he missed the boost and he just stayed with me. Hmm. Final lap. Damn. One little piece is so hard to... I really like the analog control when you're going through a corner with the, with the pitch and stuff. That's really nice. Don't fucking run into me. Don't. Uh, you tried. Shit. I'm gonna have no time for another boost. Yeah, everyone uses it here, it seems like. Damn it! <sighs> hmm. Finish. Well, whatever. I'll take my third and move on. I'm not seeing any any difference, even though I feel like I'm running Power it cleaner. Available for purchase. Yay! Here you can purchase and install power-ups on your ship. Active power-ups need to be manually. It's not early access, by the way. Oh, okay. Passive power-ups give your... So, Wii U, no, that's chance. Fast Racing Neo, which is also you really good. Install. Shut up. What? Oh, I see. That's how it's laid out. Okay. Rip, reduce the drift, max speed, and energy recharge. Oh, okay, slipstream. Oh, so there, there is, there is slipstreaming in this game. God damn it, that's gonna make running into shit an even bigger problem. Sure. Gotta go fast, or. You don't drink game thing with Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, Dexter, but I'm gonna change the rules. Um, basically, everything's a sip now. I am the speed racer. I become the speed racer. It's me. It's me now. Energy, MP Blast, freeze your opponent's energy pools for a few seconds while you speed away. Protection shield. Huh. One shot turbo. Hair drone. Oh, okay. There is at least something you can do to. So I could turn this on and then boost through one of those things and be okay, I guess. Nice energy drain and the effect of EMP shockwaves. Um, I guess to win you'd have to like 
throw down an EMP, EMP like at the stretch before the finish line. Cool, I did it. Time attack. Oh well, wait. If, if it's time attack, I'll just I would need like purely purely speed things or that magnetic thing. That actually seems pretty good. I'll, I'll fuck with you. And then yeah. Okay. Started a speed racer fan club. Cool. You should have done that. I haven't seen the the Photoshop. Oh wait, BPS. I think I have. There's one with Adam, right? What's up, Luke? How you doing? I have never met somebody who, once sucking a dick, was not down to suck dicks. It's a beautiful world we live in. No mods allowed, I assume? Oh, yeah, I guess you're right. That's probably what it is. Well, oops. Never mind. But yeah, what about nice guys on Reddit? Ikea goth. Cool. Three, two, one, go! It's so colorful! Oh, that's a tight one. What? Okay. Holy shit, okay. We got actual corners all of a sudden. Shit. Oh, man. Woo! Love that sound effect. Oh! Shit. I didn't know there was jumping. I didn't know there was jumping! Oh. Fuck, man. Yeah, racing line is really important. Oh! God! I am on all the walls. Okay, so when you brake, there, there aren't air brakes. Basically, you just cut engine and slow down, but... You can't, you can't corner if you're not boosting. Or rather, it, there's no vector. It's not like wheels, essentially. It's like a jet. Okay. Can we do tricks or anything? Fuck, man. Gotta come in on the left side after the jump. Okay. And then another... Raunchy left. Raunchy right. Okay. For airtime, you can use right analog to control your ship. Yeah, it's, I assume it's like F0. F0 air controls. I'm curious if... What... How boosting affects your... Trajectory. Would it be good for, like, uh... Adjusting after a turn? Fuck. Man, you can't stay off the damn wall. So yeah, you can like pitch up, and pitch down. That sucked. Oh, I was I only needed to shave a second off. That's not so bad. Congratulations. What's up, John Escobar? I already float, so I just jumping work. Extra float. Yeah, I love amplitude. Imagine playing this game while really drunk or high. If you if you were drunk, your reaction time would be so shitty you just run into everything. If you were high, that might be okay. <laughs> Brush my teeth and go to bed. All right, Orvon, thanks for watching. I can do this. Three, two, one, go. Holy crap, this game's pretty. to make that one without letting off the letting off the guns oh I missed it Fuck, 
I fucked it up so bad. I'm not used to entering that turn so fast. I mean, that just means I'm getting better, but... It did kind of fuck with my, uh... Rhythm. Ah. I'm starting to get some of these turns. It's not all of them. In a little bit. Good. Some of those, like when you essentially drift around a corner like that, you lose a lot of speed. It looks like oh. it's kind of another kind of air brakes. Oh shit! Fuck! Half second. Wait. Is this that game uh, on Wii U? No. Outsanity. You're you're thinking of Fast Racing Neo, which is also good, but this is this is something else. There are two of them. Oh, why is it on gaming? Hold on. Why is it on gaming talk show? I put it on games and demos. Jeez. Come on, you. There. Yeah, 25 killer. I'm improving, but not quite there yet. Almost there. Get another crack. Shoot. Half a second. Yeah, there were, like, in between two, all of the runs I had, one, I had a really good one, but, you know, I would tap a wall here, tap a wall there. Like that. Oh, so bad. Oh, fuck. I'm thinking maybe I can turn normally, but I gotta kick it out at the end to kill the drift out a little bit. Shit, man. Very floaty. Stop it! Small, small mistakes. Shit. God damn it. Just tapping, just tapping. Woo, that was close. Took that one a little too far. Fuck. Yeah, see? That, like, if you pull back too hard, man, it kills every last bit of speed. Someday I'll make that turn okay. God, it's just... Uh, it's so... I go into it so fast, I'm not quite sure what line to take. Maybe I could stand to be more to the left on the track. Forget that that one narrows. Ah. Uh. Five three. Medal awarded. <sighs> I'll give it one more shot. I'm gonna corner the apex. Apex man. Apex. Three. I just, two. On on one, corners go. that tighten, you don't know where the apex is. God shit. 
Fuck. I don't know if I need to... Like, I don't know if it's, it's a fault in cornering and line or a... I guess I'll figure this stuff out eventually. Why precisely I'm fucking up some turns just by experimenting. Fuck, man. I don't know what to do. I feel like I should be able to carry my speed through that corner. It's so wide and long. Ah, that one's another one I have trouble with, too. Maybe I need to come into it earlier. I tried my best. Hmm. Fuck, man. Upgrade your ship. Medal yeah, I could probably not get out, I guess. It's so close, though. One tenth of a second. Fuck. Whatever. Using the bricks is a bad idea. I sacrifice a lot of speed increased. for handling, and I mean a lot, as in it's New almost not worth it a lot. Just, uh, yeah, it feels like that. Um, and yeah, given all the given the angry the angling tools you have or cornering tools you have, it does seem like you can get through most of those without breaking. Either whether it's just letting, um, letting off on the. Uh, on the the boost themselves. Here you can spend your oh, okay. fortune to upgrade your ship. Each ship can be upgraded. Interesting. All right. All right. I got it. All right. Can you not choose. Can you not go back. Oh whatever. Fuck it. Oh you can't go back. Okay. Wing race. I don't know what that means. Star race. Fuck it. From soda and eating salt and vinegar chips. Oh, geez. That sounds really, really good, actually. That sounds really good. Yeah, I'm going to play a few more races, and then I think we'll uh, kick it over to Kingdom. Kingdom Hearts or Persona? I don't know which one. How does the ship have any grip if it floats? Magnets, dog. Three, two, Magnets, man. One. Boom! Motherfucking magnets. Fuck me. Oh, that's weird. Usually, they time trial you on a track and then you race on it. Not time trial on a track and then race a completely different track. Uh. Oh shit. Oh god no. Why did I hit that button? Oh, okay. New record. Final lap. Hmm. Uh. Yeah, okay. Letting off the get letting off the uh booster while you corner is just a bad idea. I thought that might be a good way to manage speed, but shit, man, that sucks. It's not. Man, there is a black art to carrying momentum through a turn. I'll figure it out. Go! 
God damn. Oh, that, that must be what a swinger is. It's just point to point. Finish. Congratulations. Silver medal awarded. Well did. Jeez. Class one, last man standing. Four laps. Uh oh. Should probably switch to a more aggressive... Lean more. I think that. Hmm. Maybe. Nah, I can't start any new games. I, I need to put in time on the ones I've already, already started up. I spent standing for opponents for laps. Great. Two, one, go. I don't remember what the what my attack button is. Hold on. Uh, power up is X. Good to know. All right. Oh, okay. I know this track. Whoa! Cool! It's just like blue bullseye blim blams. Hmm. Engines actually makes make getting these corners a little harder. Someday, someday I'll make that fucking corner. I don't know how though, man. Ugh. It's like, it's interesting. You, okay. You can't, uh, you cannot slow down and corner at the same time. In fact, the only way to corner is to boost, which accelerates you, or at least maintains your speed. So it's like, how do I, if I'm too, going too fast, for a particular corner. How can I then navigate that corner if my only options are speed up and steer or slow down and, and like, float? Okay, let off and turn in. Okay, I basically stopped completely. Hmm. I don't... There's something I'm not quite getting yet. Shit. Do I have to... Do I have to just let off the boost going into the turn to bleed off some speed? Because that seems inefficient. I feel like there should be a way to slow down a corner at the same time. Or at least slow down and adjust position. I'll figure this out. Maybe that's just how much I have to slow for that particular turn? That seems a little... a little much, though. Ooh! Almost made that. Or maybe, maybe there's just a line that I haven't found that'll get me through that. I was talking about dicks and cummies. Congratulations. Gold medal awarded. Eric? Good night, man. Didn't even know you were here. I'm sorry. I'm a bad streamer. Pilot Sanctuary? I thought about that. Increased. But I'm I'm going back we to the even deeper cuts. A contract from a racing team. Yay. Contracts will ask you to drive a specific ship. And present you with an extra challenge for bigger rewards. You cannot be change careful, the team, though, some change team, or alter the power configuration else the contract will be broken. Oh, okay. That's kind of cool. Whoa, frozen speedway trial. Wait. Oh, okay. That was crazy fast. Yeah, I'm the fastest. 
No, I, yeah. Borak, I, I bet I will love L.A. Noir. I, I'm looking forward to playing it. It's more like... I don't know, I just like finishing games, you know? I don't want to start a million of them and then put them down. Although it seems like more and more that's what I need to do. Uh, there's just so many games. Hmm. Contract, now I quit my day job. Finally. This one is fucking trippy. Get, got teleporters and shit. And I'm down. Oh, it's like that. Um, okay. Yeah, Kingdom Hearts 2, though. And Scotch. Darr. I once be a man, ye, he would come, but no sperm cummies, but no swimmies. I hear you, man, Mountain. Three, this looks cool. Two, one, go. Space Potato, your opinion matters. I don't want to ever hear that again. That's a fucking turn! Oh shit, we got vocal tracks. Guys, I'm... This game might be the perfect game? Oh, an S turn. Fuck. Ah, oh, shit, man, those turns. That's a... Whoa, hold on a minute. Okay, never mind. I thought maybe the uh, the color of the guardrails would tell you the severity of the turn. Is that... That might be what it is. That's what it is, right? The more red the guardrail is, the, the tighter of a turn. Uh, that's not a very tight turn, though. I don't know. Fuck, man. You gotta know when these are coming. Oh, shit! And then again, it might just be red to make it easier to see. I mean, either way, it kind of counts. New red Final lap. See, I don't know how you could make it through those turns clean without breaking a little bit. There's, there's just no natural way to bleed off the speed. You kind of have to, right? Unless I'm just so not good that I don't understand how wrong I am. Oh, shit. I gotta know that's coming up. It's a weird sequence of turns right there. It kind of hits me every time. Remember, but I have an Oculus. Play this in VR, baby. Finish. This reminds me of F Zero. Yeah, it's very similar. I would say it has a few more racing mechanics than F Zero did. The guardrails might work like a Forza indicator. Yeah. See, Merchant of Ducks. I was I was thinking it might be that, but then I slowed down and it didn't know like turn yellow or whatever. Yeah, Angelic. This is in VR. It even prompts you to launch it in Steam VR when you when you hit play, which is pretty fucking great. If you're getting to pitch up and you're grinding your nose against the floor, uh, pitching down increases speed and pitching up decreases it. Um, so I wasn't forgetting, I was just hitting it late because that stuff pops up really fast. Uh, yeah, I mean, Rain, pitching up chip, pitching up does slow your speed, but not nearly enough to get through those turns okay. Not nearly enough. If you're, if you're in full pitch back and strafing and turning into a c corner, you just don't bleed off enough speed to make it through those turns okay. Um... Yeah, Formula Fusion is made by some former Wipeout devs. Nowhere near this game in terms of complete lists. I know. That's kind of a bummer. I haven't played it in a while. I know there's been some updates, but... I mean, no one knows when these games were started, though, so it's kind of unfair to compare the two. Maybe they were started at the same time? That doesn't mean that they're lazy. Maybe they have fewer people. Also, they've been making excellent games for... I don't know. I, none, of, none of this stuff is in what you said. I'm just trying to, I guess, anticipating ways people might read into that. Um, oh, shit. Oh! It is a bummer, though. I really like Wipeout. I'm glad those guys have a project. I, uh... That's one of the few games I've backed.
Fuck. Too much. New record. Man, if you're gonna break before a turn, you gotta do it way earlier than that. That's crazy. Gosh. I don't know how to make it out of that turn. Big ass turn, a lot of warning, pitching up, turning in, like it, it's just not enough. It's just absolutely enough. So letting off the throttle helps a little bit, just just feathering the brake just a little little bit. It, it's such a light touch to, to bleed off any speed, so like but that almost like gosh, that's what a slowdown. I guess it's just that it seems so stark, but slowing to 300 is better than hitting the wall, I think. Fuck, man. And then you can boost out of it. Okay. Boost is kind of your I, I fucked up button. Yeah, Alright. Break it. Back to the thrust. Very, very slow. But it's a hairpin, so. It's basically what you have to do? Finish. Yeah. Resonator, it's definitely much more wipeout than F0. You're not missing much. Hope you the form of fusion is as good as it can be. Hard to choose between that. Yeah, I mean, it's awesome that we get both. Uh, does it feel in play awesome? It does, Antonius. The driving driving mechanics are really on point. It's very fun. Um, there's some of the minutiae about the cornering of the cars I haven't figured out yet. Mostly just uh, how to slow down okay. I guess I guess the fastest might be tapping. Like, if... if uh, I do recall somebody mentioning that the walls indicate boostable locations or boost-recommended locations. I could see that. The boost mechanic's kind of interesting too. New racing class available for purchase. I did it. Um. Holy shit! It's a lot of max speed. Give me it. Oh, 30. 30 grand. It's possible to turn sharper from the outside so that you get a better inside line. Yeah, it's a it's a Jacole. Um, you're right. Um, that's another part that I'm noticing is I'm not taking the right line for most of these turns because I don't know the tracks. Um, it'd also be nice that they did give you like a, a 2D represent. I guess they can't. Maybe a 3D spin around or something, just so you can kind of make mental notes about where the big turns are or the tight turns, I should say. Wait, who's who's tit picking? Oh, okay, Kala wants to send somebody a boob pick. I I always try to make my streams longer than about two and a half hours because that's when Kala starts popping out her boob picks. It's a it's a service really. Three, Speaking of racing games, two, one, a sit shotgun. Go. Hold on, and a pace card at a racing uh, Lime Rock Park track. Sweet GoPro footage. Cool. That sounds like a lot of fun, Resonator. Okay. This has been a messy start to this race. Fucker. Fuck. record because it's the first fucking time I've been on this track. Ah! Shit! Ugh. Ugh. Yeah, they... Okay, I'm starting to learn. They're, they're doing a pretty decent job of telegraphing when bad turns are coming up like that. But, fuck, man, they hit you out of nowhere! Woo! You really have to know these tracks. Ooh! Danger. Yeah, yeah, but I just gotta stop hitting things. Like that. Final lap. It's hard to stay off the wall. Wait, where? 
Where was the turn? I thought that was one of the bad ones. This is one of the bad ones. I think. Yep. Yeah. Okay, good. Fuck. That was pretty close. Congratulations. Silver medal awarded. Almost every morning I walked to the bus, and when I walked back from the bus stop back home, I was honked at by gross fucking men. Men are disgusting, Kala, this is true. If you ever send one thinking, man, she's gonna love this, she's gonna look at it for half a second and then pretend like it never happened. Oh, on the subject of dick pics. Yeah. It's it's weird because got it's Dick pics are funny. It's, it seems to be a clear case of guys thinking that girls think exactly like they do. Because the dude's like, yeah, I want to see titties. You got titties shown to me. And it's like, dude's just like, Joe, God, how do chicks think? Well, I like seeing titties, and the only thing that I have is a dick, so I'm just going to send him that. Here's my dick. Doesn't really work that way. Like, would you want to see another dude's dick out of nowhere? Actually, maybe. Maybe sometimes. I've never heard any girl go, man, geez, I could just go for a dick pic right now. Uh, sometimes, but it's been out of fun. I used to have a friend and we would like post weird Craigslist ads and see how many dick pics we could get. You think you'll ever go faster than Sanic? No. Sanic has transcended speed. Three, two, one, go. I miss Sanic so much. Sanic, where are you now? The world needs you. Where did you go? Oh, my Sanic. Fuck. What's that pink stuff? Is that the teleporter? Oh, no. It's so easy to get knocked off on this poor squeeze. Trying to find that perfect way of like cut, cutting thrust and letting my sh ship kind of drift into a turn, so I'm on the right line. I haven't figured out how to do it yet. Also, I really fucked up those corners badly. Oh damn! I, I knew that was coming. I just wasn't thinking. Just a boost pad. Yeah, this, this is a goof lap. I already had a couple of good ones, so... Oops. So my best off is 10-9. Wait, I beat the gold time by... Congratulations. Four seconds? Gold medal awarded. Any Red Dead 2 news? No, none that I'm aware of. Pink gates warp you to the next part of the track. The center reminds me of this zero and that makes me super happy. Yeah, me too. I'm just wailing guitars. Pilot level increase. This is exactly Contract the game completed. I wanted for a, quite a while. So, good stuff. Um, I wanna know if the Paxwix panel was taped or, or anything. Nope. Chief Chiefian Axototl. Or sorry. Axolotl? Axolotl. Um Nope, no taping, no streaming, sadly. A lot of people filmed it on their phones, so bits of it might go up on the internet somewhere. 
But no, as far as I know, it's, it was just, just the event. Oh yeah, I do have enough to buy a Class 2 ship. Let's do it. Nine grand for the upgrades, alright. It's a No Man's Sky ship. Cool car hovercraft? Isn't that what I had already? Or you mean that? It's like a Hydra Thunder ship. That's the pod racing. Huh. <sighs> oh, that's good stuff. Who is Lawrence? YouTube gaming one? No, screaming. I think I think they were asking about our, our actual panel. Oh, oops. Alright. It's more anime waifu stickers. Yeah. They'd probably just catch on fire. Three, it's because it's how two, fast one, I am. Go. Just so fast. You don't even know how fast. Alright, I think this is gonna be the last race I do before I take another break. Actually, eat, eat something. I didn't really eat anything last break. I lied. I just used the bathroom. And then again, it might be Kingdom Hearts time. Call is talking about boob pics and dads. So wait, she wasn't talking about dads, but she will. Um, so it seems like a good time for Kingdom Hearts. I can't tell if that's better than doing the corner and slamming into the wall, because it's basically a dead stop. Oh shit! What is this? Where? Cool. Okay, let's just vomiting on himself. Oh! I'm going so fast! That's a rough one. Boy. Well, if that's good or not. New record. Final lap. Okay. If you kill. You break and then immediately lay on the turbo. That seems like a pretty decent way of, of quickly altering your trajectory. Fuck, man. That sucks, though. That's a lot of buttons to hit in a very short amount of time. It's pretty specific timing. I haven't really done it right yet. Ah, uh, I just barely got gold. Wow. Damn. Congratulations. Gold medal. Alone. Gold. So gold. Ooh. Pilot level increased. Yes. All right. Yeah, cockpit's just caked up. Just crusted. Doesn't this game encourage no breaking? Dark Soul Invader, if it does, I don't I don't know how to play that way. I've tried everything I can do going into a turn that doesn't involve breaking. Letting off the gas, maybe, if you pitch up enough, but that's a slow deceleration, and it might work if you have the perfect line, but it does seem like a reasonable crutch in the meantime is to tap the brake. So you tap the brake to, to bleed off speed. You turn without accelerating, you turn in corner, so that rotates your ship, but you're still sliding towards the wall and then boost towards the apex and then you'll slide past it and go through. Yeah, need for speed to let the wall do the turning for you. I don't know, it's interesting. Oh, like you senpai, got an image link for me, let me click on that. I did go fast. I wanna go so fast. Okay guys, another, uh, have I seen this? Oh Jesus. Hold on a minute. Hold on a second. I don't know what's what's gonna happen, but I wanna know. Goodbye, Red Out. You're beautiful. What's going on here? Nerf this. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Oh, it sounded like an angry duck. Uh, uploaded the footage. Oh, oh, cool. I'll check that out. <laughs> uh, pretty sure... I believe somebody probably put in the fart, but that doesn't make it any less beautiful. Wait, hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Nerf this. <laughs> oh, it's so angry. Oh, it's like an angry troll waking up. <laughs> oh, that's stupid. All right. Also, that's kind of the that's the lady version of a dick pic. <laughs> that was a queef. Are you sure? That's. A, I didn't know that was possible. Man, you gotta have like a a tuba level vagina to blow some business like that. Uh, I have seen Valhalla, yeah, I just haven't played it yet. Okay, guys, uh, quick break time. I'm going to wolf down a piece of salmon, and then I'll be back at it. That wasn't a euphemism. I have actual fish. Not a euphemism. Anyway, uh, see you guys in a bit. I wanted to make it a little bit of a pilgrimage. Um, we felt that if it was too close to an urban center, um, that we would probably not get the type of person we wanted, which is a, a core gamer that's willing to make the journey. The number is the number. I mean, we're trying to make as many Xbox 360s as fast as we can, expedite them all around the world, air freight in particular, um, and make sure that everybody wants one, gets one soon enough. Um, demand clearly is outstripping supply uh, from the get-go, but our goal is to get as many as we can in gamers' hands as fast as we can. In the first 90 days, I believe we'll be somewhere between two and a half and three million units um, worldwide. And then perhaps equally importantly, by the end of the calendar year, I think we'll be at 10 million units uh, worldwide. For a look at the full Peter Moore interview, more from Zero Hour, or other Xbox 360 launch details, keep checking GameSpot News throughout the day. Doctor maintains he would never do anything illegal but acknowledges a meeting like this could appear inappropriate. Now, if you had a teenage son who was home alone, mm -hmm. would you be comfortable with a 50-some-year-old man coming into the house for a visit? I suppose it would depend on the 50-year-old man, but in general, no, I wouldn't. What about this guy? A man in his position is just about the last person you'd expect to be showing up at our house. It's 4 o'clock in the morning in an AOL chat room. This 54-year-old man, screen named Red BD, messages a 13-year-old boy named Conrad, saying, I'm prowling for young men. What he goes on to say and the pictures he sends are so graphic, we had to carefully edit them before putting them on television. And as you'll hear when we read from his chat log, it's clear Red BD knows what he's doing is wrong. You're only 13? Uh, yeah. That's rape. Dude, I tell you that before. Yes, I remember. Oh, okay. Just, you're so, so young. I've never been with a young man like you, but I would like to. While the two are chatting online, we conduct a background check and are absolutely shocked by what this man does for a living. And now he's in our kitchen after making a date for sex with a boy he thinks is 13. Hello? Hi. Hey, hold on a second. I gotta change my shirt. Yeah. Okay. I gotta ask, you still gonna be up for tonight? We'll see. <laughs> so how can I help you? What are you doing here? Not something good. This isn't good. Not good? I think that's kind of an understatement, isn't it? What do you do for a living? I'm a rabbi. That's right, a rabbi. The man who sent naked pictures of himself is a man of God. He's a staff member at a Jewish youth educational organization. Now, presumably, you counsel families and children in your position as a rabbi. What are you doing as a, a man of God, as a rabbi, in this house, trying to meet a 13-year-old boy? Instead of answering, the rabbi asks to know who I am. But before I tell him, I want to ask him about those pictures he sent. And you sent pornographic pictures. That's a federal offense right there. Okay, look. You know I'm in trouble, and I know I'm in trouble. 
I am not interested in getting any further in trouble. Then we heard that familiar excuse. This is not something that I've done ever. You've never done this before. You know, because I hear that a lot. You'll hear more from the rabbi later. Others are on the way. Here comes Special Guy 29. Earlier online, he told... It's always a challenge when approaching the creation of a new game. There is pressure to do something different, to lead the way, to deliver even better characters, environments, and stories. Over the years with Tomb Raider, each adventure has broken new ground and taken the player to even more exotic locations and arenas. And now onto a new arena with the next generation console. Our vision is, is to take the player somewhere dark, a place they might not necessarily wish to go, but a place that they'll have to venture if they want to bring Lara back. This world is from the imagination, but based in reality. A dark world, a dangerous world, a world that reflects the change in Lara. It will be a new experience, one that will almost be shocking to people who have played Tomb Raider in the past. From the catacombs of the Louvre to the alleys of Prague, we searched for the seedier side of life. A world that you wouldn't normally see Lara in, but a world that she has no choice but to inhabit. Like her audience, like the games consoles themselves, Lara has grown up. Her experiences in Tomb Raider 4 have forced her to question herself. This game will ask more questions of her. It was a very conscious decision to leave out elements of Lara's story since Tomb Raider 4. Certain aspects of that story will return. It's just a matter of when and where. For the first time, Lara will have a moral choice to make. It's no longer a clear-cut case of good versus evil. This is a more complex tale which will ask more complex questions of the player. The player controls how the story develops much more than in previous Tomb Raiders. Basically, when Lara talks to a character, the player can also choose whether Lara is nice, nasty, or dismissive to another character. 